tonight, I want to impress upon you how important it is for men and women over the age of 50 to get the right amount of protein in their diet. Protein is required to build and maintain muscle mass, which gives us the strength to perform everyday activities. Can you raise your hand? Come on, get your hands up. Or get up from the chair that you're sitting in. You don't need to do that tonight. My point is, these activities require strength from your muscles. Imagine if you lack the strength to do them. Wouldn't you want to know what to do to avoid having such challenges when you or a loved one gets older? Sarcopenia is the age-related loss of skeletal muscle mass strength and function. Muscle mass begins to decline as early as age 50 and will continue to decline at a rate of 6% per decade. Simultaneously, muscle strength begins to decline but at a rate of 10 to 15% per decade and by 70 years of age, this rate of decline accelerates to 25 to 40% due to sedentary lifestyles and a lack of sufficient dietary protein. Studies have found that eating the right amount of protein each day can help prevent sarcopenia. However, it's not just the amount of protein that you eat each day, but the amount of protein that you eat at each meal, which is important to maximize muscle protein synthesis, something few Americans do. So to investigate the effects of dietary protein on muscle mass strength and function, we conducted a study in older adults aged 68 to 88. The study provided the participants with a weight-based per meal protein prescription and nutrition education classes, which were followed up with weekly nurse coaching sessions to encourage the correct amounts and frequencies of high quality dietary proteins were consumed each day. At the end of this 10-week pilot study, the participants improved their hand grip strength by 3%, their lower body muscle strength and function by 23%, and increased their walking speed by 27%. The participants also successfully doubled their average per meal protein intake with the greatest improvement occurring at breakfast. How about you? How much protein do you eat at your meals? For example, my friend's breakfast here, this totals about 10 grams of protein. Think it's enough? Unfortunately, it's not. As previous research shows, our bodies require approximately 20 grams of protein at each meal in order to maximize, pro maximize protein synthesis. This pilot study indicates that older adults need more. My future research will focus on a larger sample size of older adults in order to confirm the power of protein in the correct amounts and frequencies in order to prevent or at least prolong the onset of developing sarcopenia. May the power of protein be with you all.